Man, I, I, I've got to tell you, first of all, I love this film. Legitimately. <laughs> how, how easy is it to, you know, I was talking to Kenny and Anthony, who really felt that there was this legitimized baseball and this was our basketball. Sorry. It, it felt real. It was authentic. How do you find that as a filmmaker and make those games pop like they do here? Well, first you cast Kenny and Anthony <laughs> and Wancho and every, all the basketball players in the movie. I think, you know, Adam led with that ethos that he wanted real people that could play the game that were part of the game um, that lived the game. And so I think, you know, it starts there. And then, you know, the team that we had was a team who lived the game, you know, Del Demps, Mike Fisher, Coach Bobby, you know, these are people that, that that's, this is their, their world and their job. You know, Joe Vesey, they, they live basketball and Adam lives basketball. And so the authenticity comes from, from them. And then it's my job and Zach's job, um, who's my DP to figure out, you know, how to shoot it correctly. <laughs> and so we spent a long time trying to figure that out. Well, one of the key factors that makes it work so well is, is the chemistry between Adam and Wancho. I mean, that, and that's insane for a, a basketball player to just come out and go, hey, I'm going to be the lead in a film. How did you know he was the right voice for this? Well, we we did a, a pretty extensive casting, you know, um, and even before I came on, they had gotten tapes. Kim Coleman, um, who's the casting director, had gotten a, a bunch of tapes um, and Wancho had given us a tape and it was OK. But then he started working with Noel Gentile, who's our acting coach. And, um, you know, she worked with him for two sessions and you just saw that he was magic you know and she brought it out of him and and you could send the tape to everybody and that's when we all knew the movie was going to be a movie because Wancho was so incredible well well I mean again that chemistry it, it's insane like what did you know that did you find that was it an easy easy watch when it okay they're together this is real this is it I remember the first day Adam acted with Wancho and he was like holy shit I think he just was like, he felt it. He could feel it. You know, it was like this intrinsic thing that like, oh my God, not only is this guy good, but we're good together, you know? And he, I remember he came up to me, he's like, wow, like he's, he's a 10, this guy. And, you know, and, and, and what's, what's cool about the movie is their relationship as an actor to a non-actor, a man who's been doing this for forever to a person who hasn't done this ever in his life is similar to the relationship between a coach and a, and a player. And so I think their relationship off screen and on screen mirrors each other. That makes sense. That makes sense. Now, you know, you, when you stepped on, I, I, you're, I'm assuming you're a basketball fan. I am. Yeah. Not an Adam Sandler level basketball fan, but I'm a basketball fan. I love oh, the That must be kind of a dream come true to say, okay, yeah, I'm stepping into this world and I'm getting on the courts with these legendary players. That must've been amazing for you. It was cool. I, it wasn't a dream come true. It wasn't something I ever dreamed about. It was like something that happened and was cool. <laughs> but, you know, if if uh, if if they were Orson Welles and Ingmar Bergman, then, in the, you know, then it would be <laughs> that would be my dream. But Fair you know, they were they were uh, they were amazing. I mean, they're 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 amazing athletes. They're amazing to watch. And, and that was it was joyful for me to to be allowed to um, to participate in in this sport that they do so beautifully well you know let's look at the sport how difficult like we you know we, you, we you've talked about like kind of filming these sequences what was the most fun to shoot like you, you're working in a stadium and you're you're seeing these the, the, the fire just happened in front of you but you're also on the streets these street games that that was beautiful yeah <laughs> nothing is fun to shoot shooting is hard and, <laughs> and, and you're sitting there trying to make your day and you're just like Am I, can I do it? Will I do it? Jesus. Um, the, 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 the night shoot that we did with Tobias Harris for the Boa Challenge was a pretty insane night. I, I don't know if I'd call it fun exactly, but it was <laughs> wild. Um, and what you see on screen is not even close to as wild as it was in person. Having Beanie Siegel and Freeway and Sierra Wack and 400 extras and Adam Sandler. The, and there was one point in that that night when Tierra Wack got Meek Mills, woke Meek Mills up on on her on her phone and had the entire extras team rap 
his song to him while he was in bed. <laughs> so that, that shit was crazy. I mean, I'll remember that for the rest of my life. That's cool. We got to wrap it up, but man, congratulations. This is a great movie. Fantastic. Thank very much, man. Thank you very much. Taking me to see basketball or bare knuckle boxing. We do everything. <laughs> I'm Stanley Sugarman. I'm a scout for the 76ers. So you're 22 years old because you can't be in the draft if you're over 22. Yes, I'm 22 years old. Who's this? It's my son. How old is he? He's 10 years old. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This Philly thing. There's room to grow there. I want to coach someday. Do you love being away from home all the time? Best chance to win in here is with you out there. What the hell am I still chasing this for? So you're just gonna give up on your journey? Been in this league for 30 years and it's like, I'm nothing. Look at this guy. come to Philly, your whole world's gonna change overnight. I gotta work. My mom and my daughter, they mean everything to me. Salary's $900,000. He will call in sick. That's your parent, now. In all the years I've been doing this, have I ever reacted this way? He's raw, we train him, get him in NBA shape. Ah! What do you say? It's not gonna happen, Stan. You just gotta get back out there. You know, I haven't been home on my daughter's birthday for nine years running. I'm not asking. The Sixers don't know you stashed her. Being the guy who finds the guy matters in this business. Won't inspire you for this. I just want to make sure I do what's right for the kid. He's got a daughter to support. You got a daughter to support. Where are you from? Spain. Sounds wet. You think you can stop me? Welcome to America! That wasn't him. That wasn't even close to him. I fly home tomorrow. Is that what you want to do? Hey, you love this game. I love this game. I live this game. Let's get to work. The draft happens in six weeks. If we're going to do this, we got to do it ourselves. No doubt about it. That kid's got it. Do you need a hand up? You don't need nobody's help. We need a spark. This is all for you, pal. It's for us. Okay, it's for us. <laughs>